just got word from Mitchell, a tractor stalled right out. Time to grab the flat deck. Burned the front diff out. Yeah, tractor 14 can seize the diff right up. What's going on YouTube? Currently snow event 17. We made it. I didn't think we were going to. Honestly, it was starting to melt again out there. And uh, I was quite unsure that uh, we were even gonna make it to do another uh, snow event. But here we are. It is quite unnecessary, but uh, we are getting the team together to dispatch here shortly in the next couple hours. Uh, snow came a little bit later throughout the night and uh, we decided that we're gonna be dispatching at 11. It was supposed to still be snowing right now currently but it's not it is gorgeous bluebird morning outside the snow decided to uh leave us alone so come outside here and i can show you guys that it's a beautiful morning but anyhow we got the crew coming together it's about 9 a.m right now we got the whole team on their way to the shop we're gonna dispatch for 11 a.m uh, do one full complete pass with notifications set of course and uh, give a little bit of a courtesy clean for all of our customers there's essentially an inch on the ground across the entire city. So this is certainly an unnecessary snow event. We call it the courtesy pass for our customers. It's been a light year, guys. You know, all my people in Ontario, Canada, I don't know how it's been over in the USA, but guys, we could all agree, it has been one of the lightest snow years we have seen ever. I mean, this is incredible. It's, yeah, it's snow event 17, but basically every time we went out for snow, it's been five centimeters, seven and a half centimeters, 10 centimeters, and that's about it. So it puts us in a really tough position because we want to provide value to our customers for signing up for the season, which means we have went out for a lot of unnecessary cleanups this year. I am filming snow event 17 for you guys, but there was actually two other snow events that I never decided to film because it was just quite embarrassing the amount of snow we are cleaning, especially for the hometown that I'm in, Sault Ste. Marie here. We are used to giant, giant snowfalls and not just like periodically, like quite often throughout the season. So I ended up not filming two events this season just because by the time we started doing driveways it was like under an inch of snow and melting this was earlier on in the season to give you guys some context however here we are this might be the last snow event of the season and that breaks my heart i'm not entirely sure it's hard to predict february 29th right now we still have a month and a half in our contracts and uh certainly another month of season here spring is around the corner but i don't know it's very unpredictable i've seen us get blasted in april and then i've also seen us not get snow for all of March and none in April as well too. So we'll have to see uh, how the cookie crumbles for us this year on the 2023-2024 season. I'd love to go out for a few more events. I'd love for a big, huge snowstorm and go out with a nice banger and not this, you know, bulk one inch with a little bit of snow squalls up to five centimeters around the perimeter of people's driveways. There's a very, very weird snowfall. I'm hoping this year ends on a good note. I'd hate to end it off this way. Uh, we're going to still go provide service today because why not? Let's Let's give some value to all the customers, right? But anyways, guys, uh, we're gonna wait for the team to get here. We're gonna get prepared for snow event 17. Currently got 37 machines in the fleet for today's snow event. We are still down one, our M5 111. Uh, one of our operators blew the clutch right out of it. And uh, they got that tractor right now at North Shore getting split right and a half down the middle. I guess they gotta change a clutch pack and do some other mechanical work that I'm a little bit unsure about. However, it's a big job. It's gonna cost about $12,000 and warranty something along the lines of that it's going to be at the dealership for two weeks so a little bit of an operator error i would say but at the same token there's no reason why a clutch should be blown out of a tractor when it only has 60 hours on it so a little bit disappointing our other m5 111 has been holding up like a champion so uh that's good had zero problems with that however uh you know it's been a little bit unfortunate with uh, our other m5 111 we'll have it fixed up and back here maybe it might see another snow event I mean, fingers crossed, that'd be pretty wild. Anyways, guys, we will wait for the entire team to start getting here, get prepared, get the tractors ready, and we're gonna head out for snow event 17. Stay tuned, love all you guys, and I'll catch you out in the field. Peace. Mill chimp going out, Mitch. Yes, sir. That's what I like to hear, firing it up. Thought I'd show you guys. This is our fuel company here, McDougal Energy. They got the SO branded on there as well. Got some association there for sure. Not sure what 
how, I don't know if Esso owns them or they own Esso, but we're gonna load up these tanks behind me here. We got one 500 gallon dye diesel tank. We got another 1000 gallon dye diesel tank. And then we got our 500 gallon regular gasoline only tank. We're gonna be getting a, uh, another gasoline tank, uh, 250 gallon or 500 gallon. It's gonna be for premium gasoline for all of our mowing equipment for this upcoming summer. That way we keep all those carburetors nice and fresh, keep the engine running for years, etc. But uh, he just threw in the stick. That one's three quarters of the way full. This one's three quarters of the way full. And same with this one as well. So McDougal, they are absolutely amazing. Best uh, fuel company in town by far. They are all over it. 1200 in here, liters? And then this one, how much? 800 to fill that one up, nice. Awesome, thank you so much, eh? He's filling up the one uh, thousand gallon tank with 1200 liters. And then uh, the other one just needs a little top up the smaller 500 gallon tank. But anyhow, I thought I'd share that with you guys because why not? Show you guys how beautiful it is out today. Mine is 25 currently, so I can barely feel my hands. This gorgeous, gorgeous sky. There's Eric, he just rolled up to the shop. It's currently 10.30 a.m. and uh, guys are all on their way one by one. Most of them should be here within the next 15 to 30 minutes and we're ready to dispatch on Snow Event 17. Check it out. We got the machine started. Andre in the cut. Woo! -hoo 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 -hoo! Fleet all ready to go. Just unplugging some of the John Deere's right now. You can see the cord running right across the hood there. And what a gorgeous day God gave us. Oh, we're gonna have some fun on number 17 here. Not too much snow to play with, but you know what? We're still fortunate, I'll tell you that. Gorgeous day. Ooh, she's a bit nipply outside right now, let me tell you. I'm surprised we don't have some guys here early right now. Usually most of them come 30 minutes early. Some of the solid men and women for sure. But uh, looks like some guys are running a little bit behind this morning. We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna go bug Mitchell inside, see what he's up to. He may be in a good mood or he may be stressing, but either way, he holds it together. Let's see what he's saying. Good? Bad? Is it good or bad? Dude, it smells like breakfast in here. Don't tell me you guys ordered Geno's next door. I don't know what Josh cooked. Josh actually cooked something though in the toaster oven. Cooked a meal in the toaster oven? Whatever. I don't Couldn't know what have been, been as bad as the salmon I cooked that one time. The chicken might have been worse, yeah. But the salmon was, I was just bomb. Okay, where are we at? What are you thinking? What's going on? Let me hear it. What's happening? Snow event 17. Mm, not much. No phone calls, no emails, no nothing. Been quiet? Well, I don't think anybody expects us to go clean an inch, but uh, we're gonna do it anyways. Yeah, so no, nothing going on there. A few typical customers, but that's about it. And then operator-wise, should see some guys shortly here. I got a special uh, present for you. I'm going to pick it up right now. I'm just waiting for the truck to unthaw. The new wrap rig. Can you pick that up after Joe leaves the shop? <laughs> no, no, I wanted to see. It's all up, man. It's all up. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now you have to listen to him. So he's doing driveways for the one time he's working the past No, time. no, he'll be happy. It's all love, you know. Anyways, what else? What do you got? Nothing? Nothing, uh... It's I almost mean, factor time. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm clear to send a notification to you shortly. I got word that basically every single operator will be here. Besides the two that I'm aware aren't coming. So as long as everyone comes in, there shouldn't be an issue of sending all notifications. So I'm gonna send them all. Send them at like... 10.45, so I'm not when the guys get here. What's your anticipation on the pass? We're only doing hard top driveway, so what are you thinking? Four hours, three hours? Uh, no, at least four because of traffic. Yeah, traffic, yeah, midday. Yeah, midday traffic. Lunch time's around the corner. It could even be four to five. Yeah, it's the traffic. Middle of the night, two and a half, three. Oh, it'd be easily three hours in the middle of the night, yeah. 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 Traffic could go up to five. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm anticipating about four o'clock, like my four or five o'clock will be on these. That's what I like to hear. Okay, you heard it from the man himself. We'll update you guys later. We're gonna go see uh, what Josh is up to. Josh, what do you got cooking in here, brother? Perfectos. Oh, nice, man. You know, I thought I thought maybe you bought some breakfast, but it no, looks like you just cooked cooked a little uh, brunch, eh? In the toaster oven? Yeah, 
You ready for today? It's been quiet. Yeah, it's been pretty quiet, but we'll get through today pretty easy, I think. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Take it easy. Okay, so I'm going to go head out, pick up one of the new deckled lawn trucks real quick, head back to shop, watch the boys dispatch, and then uh, take it from there. Yo, this guy said he wanted to do a video. Yeah, yeah, no, you know what? We got to see one for the video. No, that's that's real. Why is it is it a bad time right now? No, it's it. Let me emphasize all that you guys are always the first ones here. I love it. Okay, we're gonna see a, we're gonna see a quick quick backflip on the spot on the spot. Be careful, eh? Right here, right here, right now. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, you had to do it for the YouTube. That was awesome. Never a dull moment with those boys, man. Backflip right on the spot. Yo, you just missed it. Braden did a backflip right on the spot for the YouTube. It was hilarious. Who's here? Anyways, never a dull moment with those boys. They're always here nice and early too. That's what I really appreciate about them. Always, always the first guys here. And they roll like a pack too. It's a brotherhood. I love it. to run out to pick up our new Northern Lawns truck. Sadly right now I'm missing the guys dispatching from the shop, but the people that are doing the wrap right now really needed the second truck, so I had to move quick. Sorry guys, not getting the boys leaving the yard right now, but I did get Andreas to throw up the drone and take a couple pictures and stuff. So he is getting some footage right now of the boys dispatching on Snow Event 17, out the shop, notification set to all our customers. And we're gonna go crank out this little baby snowfall, take care of business, have this whole show wrapped up by about 3, 4 p.m. We're hoping traffic is insane today. So I'm hoping everybody stays extra safe and is cautious. That's something we had in the meeting before dispatching but we'll see how the cookie crumbles and uh, stay tuned to the very end, guys. I'll give you a little sneak peek of the hood right now. Boom, all wrapped up. I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, right after I'm done here. Just got back to the shop here. I told you guys I'd show you the brand new deckled up Northern Lawns trucks right behind me right there. But you know what? We're going to keep it a surprise. I got a little bit dirty on the road because it's really slushy out right now. So I'll save it for when it's nice and cleaned up and I can show you guys how it really looks. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. But my God, did the wrap ever come out awesome. So just getting to the shop here. I'm going to either A, hop in a tractor or go get some footage. I'm about to find out because I guess we were short some guys, but it's really just an option at this point. We're only doing hard top driveways. We got 35 or 36 machines out. So I guess there's two sitting in the yard as spare. Oh yeah, look at that. There they are right there. Yep, there's two. Anyhow, I may hop in a machine just because why not? There's not really too much to film today. There's not that much snow at all. So I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. I'd like to get some footage because it's a gorgeous day out. So we'll see what's popping. I'll make a decision real quick here and I guess you guys could stay tuned and see what happens. I'm hopping in the service truck with Eric Bulo and uh, we're heading out. We're gonna go drop off a few sunglasses to a few of our employees just because uh, it is very, very, very bright out right now and some of the guys operating are having a hard time seeing. You know, the sun, when it beams down on the snow, the reflection to the eyes, it's quite hard to see. So we actually stock glasses here at Northern. Eric was gonna show you guys, check it out. Show them what we got. The majority of the guys already have, but uh, there is like four guys who don't have. We're gonna go look for them, give them glasses, you know. Keep guys happy, man. It costs like three bucks a pair. And you know what? If it keeps an operator from damaging something or, you know, just it's having nice. having a painful. yeah, having a, having a bad shift or getting a headache from the sun, well, at least we got them covered, right? There they are. I'm wearing a pair myself right now. And you know what? For $3, they're f***ing great. Hey, we're pulling up on Mike right now. Go hand him a set of shades. Oh yeah, he needs them. Yeah, Mike was honestly one of the best operators we've had for quite some years now. And sadly, he did get a new career out in the mines. 
um, working, so he's not with us anymore, but he was in town. We figured we'd give him a holler and he came out for a quick snow shift for us. So we really appreciate it. Had a couple guys not show the usual. We'll deal with them later, but anyhow, he made it. So we're taking care of him. He wanted some sunglasses, so we're running. Mike, stop in there and uh, I'm gonna park in front of you to give you the glasses. Just stop, 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 Mike. Oh, there's Mike. Mike on the move! Whoa! <laughs> He's back! He's back, though! You got the glasses? Yeah. I'm All right. back. How you been, bro? Not you bad, it? not bad. Oh, there glasses. they are. You'll like those. I got a pair on myself. For three bones, they're great. Oh, my God. Life. Love a difference. Yes. <laughs> Out of boy, man. Not much snow, eh? No. No, nothing. Clean it up. Keep them happy. Exactly. Can't be worse. Yeah. Okay. This is an out the truck takeoff right here. Check this out. I'm gonna fire up the old drone here. Home point updated. There we go. Up in the air, just like that. We're gonna get some content, baby. Oh yeah. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you pack a gravel driveway. You see, goes all the way to the top, puts his blower down, drags it all the way to the end of the driveway, accumulates a big pile of snow at the end, and then blows it into the front lawn after he's done. That's exactly how you want to pack your gravel driveways right there. Boom. Got Eric, the cameraman, taking some shots. Mill Creek Central 12, I'm pretty sure. And uh, we're out here filming one of our great operators, Austin Rowe. He's doing a stellar job right now. Unfortunately, really, we aren't blowing that much snow as you guys can see in the footage. It's truly only an inch out here, but you know what? I'm happy we're giving some value to the customers and uh, this could possibly be the last one of the season. I really hope it's not, but this weather this year has got me kind of feeling like it might be, so we'll have to wait and see. I'm happy we came out. Definitely not a lot of snow out here, but I'm, I'm happy we, we did it for sure. You know what? But it's been quite a quiet day thus far. I'd say we're about 50% done. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon. I'm hoping to have this whole show wrapped up by 3, 3.30, 4 latest. We're gonna go check up on a few guys right now, then probably head back to shop. Uh, we heard one of our guys, Stefan, was having an issue with his blower right now. It's not scraping right, so we're gonna go check that out. Maybe I'll take some footage, show you guys what's going on, see if we could expedite the problem on the road. But you know what? It's a beautiful day to be alive. Bluebird skies out. We're having a hell of a time. It might be an inch, but but at heart, we're blowing snow, so that's all that matters. Yeah. Oh, he snapped the top bar on the Pronovo? Yeah, top bar on the Pronovo. Okay, we're gonna go fix that right now. How about Stefan, how's he doing? He's good. He's good, his blower's scraping fine, we don't gotta go see him? Yeah, yeah, no, you said that uh, for some reason it just randomly started to work, yeah, so he's all good. That's weird. Okay, so we're just gonna go check out Brandon Blue right now, get him all fixed up on the road? Yeah, it's the top bar. I'm trying to see if there's anything else that's broken, but I just see the top bar. How, uh, how yeah, we... I how are we looking as a team right now? Uh, good. The only thing is the east end's a little down bad. 
to an extent and yeah. I'm trying to shift track as much as possible just to get it figured out but for the most part it's just really the east end a lot of people are 100% complete or 80% complete blah 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 okay well that's so, good to know no, no doing really good I just gotta try and shift what do you think what do you think as a whole 50 60% 60 70 probably that's awesome 60 70 percent oh my god we're gonna be done by three o'clock yeah there's just a few routes that are down bad but like the biggest issue i have now is shifting tractors you know what i mean yeah 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 no doubt awesome we're gonna go get this top bar fixed right away and then uh we'll uh, we'll touch base after that okay okay he is on i'll text you an address right now address coming eric's way okay we're on our way ciao ciao we got to the broken top bar big brand blue Right in the customer's driveway, eh? Oh yeah. All right, go forward. You go forward, get back in there. Listen to what he's got to say. Open your back uh, back window. Yeah, I've seen that a few too many times. There we go. Good, good, good. That's I think number six or seven of the season but we got the new ones in the truck that were fabricated a lot better than these so it's all these new ones here that eric's got in his hand they haven't been bending at all they've been holding up great it's what uh pronovos should have originally put on the blowers for uh this 2023 2024 model but i guess they had to subcontract those out and uh the material isn't the best as you can see we've snapped uh quite a bit this year and you know what we're prepared this time i mean we're always prepared but like we're extra prepared now fixed up real quick hey blue nice light day for you you got the pit vipers on you're ready to go yeah yeah rocking and rolling baby i didn't like I didn't like last time that I didn't have all my tools in there and, and the reason why is because it was this season has been so low. Got caught off guard, we didn't think we I, were going out. Exactly, and yeah, then yeah. boom. Boom. I said, this is never happening to me, so I put everything in the truck now. Prepared. Yeah, we got the old one off. I'm not confusing myself this time. Goes here, not here. So, Blue, what's on the agenda? Just gonna finish the row and go home? Finish the row. I'm 70% uh, 70, 70 done. 70? Yeah. Atta boy. How's, uh, how's the others doing? Everybody's doing pretty good. We're gonna be done in like an hour, the whole team. Oh, we'll be done by like 3 o'clock. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting like five. No, 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 we're not doing gravel, eh? So it's qu it's quick. Uh, yeah, well, quick. No, honestly, man, we just wanted to come give the customers their, their money's worth, get some value out of the service and be happy. Honestly, it sucks to say this, but on a heavier year, we probably wouldn't even come for this. And I hate to say that because I want to be consistent, right? But it's just it's been such a fucking light year. Yeah, like last year, we went out double as many times as we did this year. And every time it snowed, it was like, you know, 20, 15, 30 centimeters. Very light, it's bizarre. Whoa. All fixed up, brother. Yeah, we're all good. What's that, is that number five, six, seven of the season? Something like that. Something like that. Six, seven, yeah. Okay, bro, take it easy. Keep it up. Well, that went nice and smooth. You guys are probably all watching this video and you're like, you know, that's quite unfortunate to have those brand new blowers do that. And trust me, we feel the pain. Uh, you know what, Pronovos has went above and beyond for us and doing the best they can to make sure that this can, doesn't continue to happen. So they've sent us a bunch of brand new top bars. Uh, they're more reinforced. They're made with better steel, better material. And we've been replacing them slowly as they've been breaking. But our old Pronovos, like I said in the last video from like Snowman 13 or 14, they've never bent, they've never had this problem. And a lot of people say, you know, that design is poor. And you know what, I agree, it's not the best design, but typically you don't have any bending or cracking or anything along the lines like that. They hold up very well. Uh, it's just these uh, 2024, 2023 models, whatever it may be, they uh, outsource the material for the top bars and you know, they've been giving us hell bending, cracking, and end result is breaking in a half. So these new ones that they've sent us have been bomb proof, just like the old ones, which is what we want. So thank you, Pronovos. I appreciate you guys fixing your mistakes. Hopefully you guys invent uh, a welded on three point hitch with the blower, just like Norman and just like Bellidoo because kind of unfortunate that you guys got the bolt on system. It's not really too nice.
No, but they already did it because the 92, uh, it comes already well. Yeah, but not together. the 82. They, but not the 82. So but the now 82. the 92, they put the three, uh, the bolt-on three-point hitch on the 92 now. Oh, yeah? On the new one. Well, that's not good. I get it. You want to be replacing some parts. Sometimes it's part of the business to create, like... I'm not sure. Protovos, if you guys are watching, <laughs> like, please just tell us why you take the, the bolt-on three-point hitch method. I mean, I really see no value in it at all. Maybe it might be filling your guys' pockets, but it definitely ain't filling ours, and it ain't helping, so... <laughs> <laughs> if you could do something about that, I appreciate it. <laughs> please, yeah. please, eh? Please, please, and thank you. <laughs> if not, we're we're switching companies. We're going to Bilodeau. <laughs> yeah, we're, that's it. That's the next blower in the line, Bilodeau. We tried Norman, tried Pronovol. We had a Bilodeau already. Yeah, we had a nice machine. We had it was one. so light. That's the only thing I didn't like. It was too light. It was so really light. We saw uh, we saw paddles that weren't as nice. Didn't compress the snow as good. Didn't suck it up off the road as well. Like I mean. Pronovos is a world of a difference, even Norman, but uh, it's not to say Billy doesn't make a good blower. I haven't, you know, we haven't had a Billy do since that 20, it was a 2019 model, 2018 oh, no, model. It was like 20, 2018. 2018 yeah, think, yeah, it was an older one, so. Yeah, yeah maybe we might get a Billy do in the fleet, so see how them are working, but I'm not, you know, tooting horns, but when it comes to uh, blowing snow, I think the Pronovos. Well, I know the Pronovo Cyclone blows snow better than any other blower on the market. It's just facts, but that three-point hitch has got me pretty upset. It is what it is. That's enough of me ranting. We just rolled up on Andreas, the bear. Are you hungry? We're going for lunch. Basically, a lot of gravel left. So what you're trying to tell me is we got this whole show wrapped up by pretty much 2 p.m.? Or like, when are you thinking everybody's going to be back to the shop? I think we be back to the shop by... Uh... But there's still a route that's at like 70, there's still like two routes at like 70%, so. Andres, Andres, ya que va para a donde va, si mira que en mi casa hay mucha nieve en el end, le da una limpiada ahí al end nada más, please. Wow. Yeah. 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 D yeah. Different languages on the, on the radio as usual, eh? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, like there's still four routes, I think, that are like 70, 75%. Yeah, yeah. But... There's like four guys on each road, so I can't keep piling guys. Okay, okay. We'll call it 3 p.m. So, then. 3 p.m. everybody I back. Say, I would say 3 p.m. everyone back and fueled up and probably yeah. had, like everyone should be leaving the shop by 3 p.m. I think I was right again. I don't think you said anything. I said we. I said me and you would probably be going home around 4 or 5 o'clock. Something like that, eh? Because if everyone leaves here for 3 o'clock, we don't leave till at least 4. Come on. Oh, I know. I wasn't banking on that. Okay. That's it. Head back to shop now. We're heading back to the shop here and uh, we see one of our operators in the Wendy's drive through there. I don't know if you guys could see. Absolutely loving it. Give him a honk. You gotta give him a honk. We are filming him too. It's Austin. Austin! He's loving it. Oh my God. He's getting the Baconator for sure. Oh, the double Baconator. Okay, so we just got word from Mitchell. He literally just called us and said a tractor stalled right out on the corner of Great Northern here in second line. So we're pulling up right now, trying to see what's going on. I don't see a tractor, do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't see a tractor in sight. Well, allegedly, Mitch just called us, like I said, and, and apparently uh, this guy, his name's Landon, an operator of ours, just stalled out right in the middle of the road, and uh, he thinks he seized up either the front axle or the engine. My guess is that uh, that's very, very unlikely, but we'll have to wait and see. We're looking for him right now, but I don't see no tractor. Landon, yeah, let's see where he is. I hope he didn't seize a rig up. So like, uh, gas lot. Oh, he's in the Shell gas station parking lot. He, he limped it over there. Okay, see so ya. Yeah. yeah, 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 we know, bro. Well, it looks like he's over at Shell right here, so we're gonna go see what's going on. What do you think? What do you think's happening here, Eric? I think it's bullshit. You think it's bullshit? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Oh, he's right there. Don't move it, just wait in there, please. Just seen a buddy of mine. Shogun Sushi. It's my favorite place. I come here once a week probably and get a couple of pounds of food. <sighs> right to the biceps. That's how you get it. Like it all, all goes to the biceps. It's all to the biceps, eh? Oh, yeah. 
Nothing to the belly, nothing, just the biceps. Oh yeah, Eric. Roadrunner, baby. Okay, let's see what's popping. I've seen this tractor running, so there's no way he seized it. Okay, well, he's got a light out, that's for sure. Uh, he said he's pissing fluid. Let's see what's going on here. Gonna pull up right here, baby. Landon, what's going on? Another day on the job. What's happening? Is she pissing? Oh, yeah. Where? Ooh, uh, I could smell it. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Better on the other side, but underneath. Under, right. Underneath, eh? Yeah, she's smoking pissing. Oh, okay. I see, I see, I see. Did it stall you? No, it can just complete stop. Did the lights go on at all? Any lights? Not really. There was one, like, coming down here, but Mitch already told me to come back. Okay. And then I was just cruising and coming to a red light and it stopped instantly. Like stopped dead on you? Yeah, like completely shut up, off? Completely locked up, shut off, everything. Wow, that's really bad. That is not supposed to happen. This is grease, it's not the, it's not the oil, it's grease that I added. Uh, you could smell it though, when we pulled up, eh? Yeah, but how do you explain the stopping? Like I could smell that's, it. That's, that's, it, that's the thing, right? Oh, there it is. I could see it right there, smoking a little bit. Here. I got a couple, couple pictures too. Give it to me. That was before the stop. Actually. See how that is. Oh. Oh. That was crazy. Oh. Hold on, move for a second. Do that again. Oh. Oh. Okay, time to grab the flat deck. I don't know, man. That looks like that uh, front differential uh, season up. Seized. Oh, yeah. It looks seized, eh? That's a seized diff right but there. I, I don't know why, because you can see the grease falling off. Well, who knows, man? They came from Ottawa. Those snow guys didn't take care of it. We have so many problems with these uh, John Deere 4066Rs. Just famous for it. Okay, well, let's get the flat deck. You could uh, just sit here, hang tight. We're gonna go grab the trailer and we'll haul you back. Broken diff, broken dreams, baby. What do you got to say about that? I'm pissed. I'm pissed. Why are you pissed? Because uh, we just uh, got a, a front differential rebuilt on Tractor 17. We literally just had a John Deere 4066R get a complete new front diff. He just picked it up yesterday before today's event. You know what's the funny thing too is that one is brand, brand, brand new as well. We only had one year on it. Last year and then three quarters of the way through this season and we blew a diff right out of it. John Deere, man. Come on. You guys gotta be making these four R's a little bit stronger. Like, it's incredible the problems we have with them. Anyhow, it is what it is. We're gonna get them loaded on the flat deck, haul them back to the shop, get this tractor out to our dealer to get fixed up as soon as possible. And uh, that'll be that, man. We got bigger fish to fry right now. We burnt the front diff out. No. Yeah, tractor 14 can seize the diff right up on her. Like yeah, she's smoking like a sieve and she's locked right up. Even if he puts it in two wheel drive, it's still like it starts rolling and then it just seizes. Right, so either it's blown or it's seized. I ain't no mechanic, how, how am I supposed to know? Like this one's smoking and it's seized shut. Even if you put it from two wheel to four wheel, it's just seizing right up, locking. That's some, that's some neglecting gear oil. No, no, Eric changed that one. He has it. He changed it. It was filled right to to the brim. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was just topped up too before we went out for the snow event. We got the flat deck loaded up right now onto the truck, and uh, we're going to rescue this guy. I'm looking at about maybe 15 tractors in the yard, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more. I don't know. There's guys pulling in like crazy right now, so it's a wrap on snow event 17. We went out uh, to clean an inch and uh, blow a blow a front diff. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm kind of joking. I'm kind of not. But anyways, it's all good. I uh, know I definitely should be under warranty. I'd imagine. Just talking to my partner there. Big Nikki nine. Uh, okay. That's it. Let's go get this four hour loaded on a deck ski, though. 
Boom. And we're gonna get landed, loaded up here. You can back up or is it still hop when you back up? Yeah, same thing. You gotta slowly come forward. It's gotta go nose on. Okay. Okay? Slowly make your way over. You'll see how seized this front end is. Working good right now. Hey, Eric. Wasn't seized that time. No. I don't no? Know. I'm not sure. We'll have to get it looked at. Regardless, she was leaking. She was smoking. And uh, those wheels were locking. So something's got to be going on with it. I'll have to get it checked out. Okay, Eric's going to get this pig all strapped down. That's awesome. Okay, quick fix. So explain one more time. What exactly happened? You were driving and just stopped solid on you? Oh, yeah. Stop. <laughs> Went up in the air, pulled back in. No. Yeah. Come on. And then right after. Like, what do you mean, like ass over tea kettle? Yeah. Like no. Full stoppy almost. Holy. Yeah. <laughs> like, like how, like how you do it, like on a BMX. Yeah. Oh my god. That's incredible. Should be good, yeah. You got the parking brake on? Yep. Okay, this is uh. About six days post snow event 17. And uh, right now we are on our way to North Shore Tractor. That's our dealer, about 45 minutes outside of the city. And uh, we got them a little special gift. If you guys can see in the back there, we're bringing them four pizzas uh, with a little bit of pop to just say thank you for the great service this year. And uh, we're always fixing us up when we need them and just being very efficient and timely manner, getting all the work we need done for our tractors. We had an M5 111 that uh, needed to get split in a half and they managed to fix it within a week for us. We had, uh, what was it, Eric? Uh, another front axle that needed to be fixed on a John Deere last week. They fixed in like two, three days for us. Yeah, right? very quick. And then another front axle is getting completely fixed. Um, if you guys are watching on 17, earlier on in this video, it would have been we had a tractor that uh, completely like seized up its front end. Um, you can see in the video that I took that uh, the wheels were locking right up on this John Deere 4066R. So we, we loaded it up on the flat deck and we brought it out to North Shore and they told us that the front end completely exploded. Literally, that was their words, eh, Eric? Yeah, completely. that's what uh, Tim said. He was like, hey, this uh, front axle literally exploded. That's, those are the biggest words and uh, Paul told me the same thing. So they are gonna have to change the whole, the whole uh, front end. That's awesome. Well, I mean, it's not awesome, but it's great that they're fixing it nice and quick for us. I'm not sure if it's gonna snow again this winter. It's really hard to say. I'll show you guys what it's looking like right now on the highway. It's springtime out here, honestly, plus 10 degrees, no snow at all anywhere in sight. I guess we don't need the tractor back so quick, but we don't mind having it in our possession sooner rather than later. We'll see what happens. We're just getting to the dealer now. We're gonna have some pizza with all the guys, have a couple of jokes, laughs, and just really show them uh, appreciation from our company to theirs. Say thanks for all the hard work and being so quick and just really prioritizing us as, you know, being one of their best customers and taking care of us very well. It, it means a lot, so we're gonna pay it forward. Like I said, we're rolling up right now and uh, I'll try to see if they got that John Deere 4066R ripped apart. If they do, I'll get some clips for you guys. Out at the dealer here, Eric's got the pizzas. Here, right? Yeah, that back door. Big old M7, 172. Look at that hog. Woo -hoo! Talking to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you forgot. Brought some pizzas for the boys. So, what happened to it? I suspect the full box come out. Yeah. And Both those bolts came out right there? Yeah. Tore into here. And eventually, what happened is one broke right off. 
I've caught in here. Oh wow. So smash, the smash, smash. the one bolt got caught up in the gear. Is that what was causing the front wheels to lock up? Cause they were locking up solid. Like he was driving like 30 kilometers an hour and it stopped him dead. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You got that caught in there between the two gears, it would lock right up. Yeah, so we basically just exploded the front axle then. Yep. You ordered a whole new one or are you trying to salvage anything from here? Well, we were trying to get the new housing and the new center portion of it. Yeah, see what you could do and then the tractors. And then the uh, And tractors all right over here, eh? Oh yeah. There's the Northern Snow Rig right there. So what are you thinking? Probably, you're just waiting for the parts, eh? Quick fix besides that. Yeah, once you get it together, then you can uh, get it all uh, in there. And people are happy to get it all back in there and the and everything else. That's awesome. That's perfect. Beautiful.